It's time for Breaking It Down with Brittany, where I take different weather terms and events and help you understand the science behind what is actually going on. So we've had three tornadoes confirmed in just the past four days into our area. So how exactly does one form? What are the conditions? What's going on in the atmosphere for that to happen? Well, first of all, you need wind shear. What that is, is basically the surface winds are going at one speed, a little bit slower than what's going on up above us, a lot faster wind speed. So for example, you could take your remote in your hand right now, have your bottom hand go a little bit slower than your top hand. What happens? You get some rotation, right? I just rotated my clicker there. Yeah, so we're getting a rotated column of air within the atmosphere in the storm. So when that actually happens and a thunderstorm starts to fire up, you know that tall towering cumulonimbus cloud that you see? That's the updraft. So as that updraft is happening, we start rotating and changing that column of air. And then once it becomes vertical from a strong enough updraft and a heavy enough downpour, it really kind of straightens that out there. And then you'll start to see a wall cloud form. That is that rotating cloud where you don't see a funnel yet. Then the funnel starts to come out of it. And as it does, it can lift and touch the ground and go back up again. But when that funnel cloud is on the ground, that is a tornado. And that is how it forms. So we have seen quite a few of those over our area in the past few days. I hope you learned something about it. And that's it for Breaking It Down with Brittany.